And just uh, in sort of uh, wrapping this up here a little bit, uh, you're aware of the 40B development that is proposed for um, just up the street from you? Yes. Um, do you have any plans to uh, transfer this or merge this into a retail facility in any way? Um, the, in terms of the medical marijuana, it, it, it is a retail, um, uh, technically, the medical marijuana dispensary is a, essentially a retail store like a CVS. Um, I, are you? I mean, me movement in towards or in addition to what you're currently doing, uh, having a, a retail or recreational marijuana counter or area or no. dispense that in any way. No. And you, would you be willing to put that in the, as a uh, condition of the special permit? Yes, and and any recreational uh, applications would have to go through a special permit process and would have to go through a separate process with right. the state. Because so I can tell you, ma'am, that would be extremely upsetting to find out that, that something like that would happen. So um, I think that's about it. Thank you very much for your time, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council Romad. For some around, Vice President Logan. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, through you to uh, representative uh, of the petitioner, that maybe the one that was just up there. Okay, so the previous councillor asked uh, if you had any plans to at any time convert this to a recreational marijuana facility, and you said that you did not. Okay, I'm just curious, in the lease, one of the things that is required to be provided uh, as part of the uh, application submission is a copy of the lease. And in the lease, under permitted use, it says, registered marijuana dispensary, RMD, and or a licensed marijuana establishment, as such terms are defined in Section 2H of Chapter 369 of the Acts of 2012 of the Commonwealth Massachusetts 105 CMR 725 uh, and Chapter 334 and 351 of the Acts of 2016, Commonwealth Massachusetts 935 CMR 500, uh, collectively applicable law. I believe the last reference is to the Recreational marijuana law. Why? Why is that in there? If you, why do you have that in the lease? If you don't have any intention of converting this to recreational marijuana? Yeah, I'm going to introduce Ed Bartlett. Um, he's our treasurer, and he's also okay. our attorney. I think the decision about whether we would become recreational is a business decision. Right now, our model is that medical would work. It doesn't have a sales tax on it and purchases can purchase more than they can from a recreational dispensary. So we believe the medical model works as a business model. In Norwood, for example, Norwood opted out and we're medical only in Norwood. We don't have a chance to become recreational. So our plan has been all along. But as of January, I think the last time that the uh, Cannabis Control Commission posted stats, there were still more medical patients registering each month, which supports that, that model. But if it went the other way because People don't want to pay for the card. There's a movement on now to reduce the cost of the, of the medical cards. If that didn't happen and the patient count left, we might have to look towards you, you know, a recreational avenue just to, as a business decision. Okay, so you haven't ruled that out then? No, 